So in this video, I'm going over what I believe to be the best overall Titan exotic for Destiny 2 PvP. And there's a lot of really good options out there. However, this is the only one that is universal. Like a lot of them require you to be a certain subclass for them to be useful. So I'm going to go over those at the very end of the video as honorable mentions. But for like just general any subclass, uh, these these are these are the kings right here. So these are the Syntheseps. This is what they look like. They're pretty average looking. I'm not going to lie. They don't look too special. Uh, this is with the new monarchy shader on so if you want to see what it looks like without anything that's what it looks like it's kind of like a like a ninja turtle type color um, and then the perk is called biotic enhancements which increases melee lunge range and improve melee damage when surrounded oh oh no he's playing with vibration no vibration nation peasant all right so this is me with the gloves on i have been running around meleeing people for probably 25 minutes now just getting used to it and normally it would make sense you know make the make the pvp video where I have gameplay of pvp in the bag but it's not like a weapon where i can shoot it at people and you're not gonna be mailing people every two seconds in pvp so i feel like this is the best way to show you so this is me with the gloves on right now basically what i'm trying to do is get to the average distance that you'd normally melee someone at and then do a little a little hop step backwards um so that it would be a little bit beyond the normal range so what i've noticed is it's mainly like a it's like a pre-nerf warlock melee basically is what it gives you it's not going to be storm collar range but it, it definitely is improved and you're not going to whiff as much so from here like what oh my god that's a mike tyson man out here throwing punches left and right can you just get off the the car so i can kill you that was a really big lunge so now we're gonna take him off and see if you guys can see the difference it's kind of hard because i can't really lines like we don't have private matches so i can't line it up with like a power ammo box to see exactly how many meters it increases by which sucks um but we're gonna melee some people without the gloves on so this is around the same distance that i was sniping people from uh, before because I like I said I've been meleeing people with the gloves on for like 20 minutes now and I've like I I've, I don't feel like an idiot I feel oh, I do feel kind of dumb but I don't feel like a complete idiot doing this how it looks but this is around the same distance that I was meleeing from um, so my prediction what it feels like to me the best comparison I can sh tell you is that basically what this exotic is doing is giving you a warlock melee that's a pre nerf warlock melee so in the beta and from destiny one that's the warlock melee you're getting Dude, can you show your stupid idiot? So moving on to how it performs in PvP, it basically confirmed all of my suspicions from earlier. It feels exactly like you're playing with a warlock melee. And while this might not be some ridiculous difference to the point where, you know, if you don't have this, you suck. But if you are wearing it, you're amazing. It's just this tiny quality of life change that makes PvP more fun to play. And in the end, gives you an advantage because you can melee anyone else further than they can melee you from. When I was about to begin this video, I honestly thought it would be really basic and I wouldn't really feel the effects of it but it definitely like, if you don't believe me just put them on right now and try it um, I'm gonna present the honorable mentions at the very end of this video but so far this is my favorite PvP exotic for Titan I feel like it works pretty well you're gonna see a slow-mo clip from your boy coming up here and just look at the snipe I just hit it you gotta you gotta use it to believe it and in fact this thing is so good it's so amazing that sometimes even when you get a melee kill it's just so OP that it makes your enemies want to kill themselves yo hello yeah hello what yeah can you please explain like why the other exotics are better than this one like you're saying earlier Good. I'm at the gym right now, kill yourself. Dude, what the heck? We're just kidding, of course. That is staged just like the rest of YouTube in 2017. But moving on to the honorable mentions, the first one, uh, the first piece of armor that we have are the Doomfang Pauldrons. And the perk is called Horns of Doom, which reads Shield Bash kills, or Shield Bash melee kills recharge shield throw, melee ability kills recharge sentinel shield super. The second honorable mention is a chest piece, and it is called the Hollow Fire Heart. It has a perk called Sunfire Furnace, which reads greatly improves the recharge rate of your solar abilities while Hammer of Soul is charged so as I mentioned earlier a lot of those are subclass specific so that's why I went with the melee gauntlets hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did and you are subscribed the best way to support me is to go over to my channel and if you see the bell right next to my name go ahead and click on it so that you don't get screwed over by YouTube notifications it's basically a way to receive post notifications so you don't miss a video so hopefully you enjoyed it and um, hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video peace